name's Chris. I work in the outdoor industry, have done for about seven or eight years now. Um, it's taken me all over the world. I've been snowboarding in Japan, I've been sea kayaking in Sicily, uh, expedition leading, all sorts of stuff. And at the moment I've managed to get myself to BC, Canada, and I've been living out of my adventure wagon right here. This is White Lightning. The White Lightning. Why is it called White Lightning? Because it's so fast, obviously. It's a fast van and it's also the drink that the homeless people drink back in the UK. Uh, you can get three liters of White Lightning cider for three pounds. So White Lightning seemed like a great name for a, a budget home on wheels. So I've wanted to go on an expedition for a little while. I have some friends that have done some pretty serious trips and it kind of inspired me to do something for myself. And after working quite a few years taking guests and people all over the world on their own trips, I decided it was about time I should do one. So I was here in BC and trying to decide where to go. My first thought was to go south. I was thinking of maybe kayaking to Mexico, but using some Google Earth research, I kind of saw quite a lot of sketchy places in California. There's a lot of sharks and there's quite a few places where there's just nowhere to land. Around that time, I learned that the Inside Passage is a route that people would kayak. It's essentially from Seattle north into Alaska, taking the inside route of Vancouver Island. By that point, when I decided on what the route would be to go north, I started to question myself of why I actually wanted to do this trip. Why are you here? Why are you doing this? And why are you going to carry on day after day after day, even in the shitty weather? It came back to the idea of just wanting to do an adventure for no reason other than to go on an adventure, which is where the idea of for fun's sake came about. It was a trip for the sake of having fun, and that's it. Not for fuck's sake. Not for fuck's sake. For fun's sake. For fun's sake. There would be days when it's raining, there will be days when it's cold and wet, and it's hard to motivate yourself. So I figured I need a partner. And around that time, I'd just met someone that had done a pretty serious journey, way longer than this one, and had proven that he could do long distance expeditions and would be the perfect guy for this trip. Uh, he was busy, um, and then I met Nuka. <laughs> and uh, yeah, he, he was free, so yeah, Nuka's coming. Yeah, Chris uh, approached me a few, a few months ago, almost a year ago, uh, asking me if I wanted to come on an expedition with him. And uh, at first I didn't want to because, you know, Chris is kind of a dick. But um, uh, I figured I had nothing else to do. So I do have uh, some experience in uh, long haul expeditions. Uh, I did a kayaking trip from Montreal to the Yucatan. It was about 7,350 kilometers uh, on the span of 15 months. Um, got to see a lot of communities uh, through the uh, intercoastal waterway. Uh, this time though, it'll be much more isolated, uh, paddling through uh, the inside passage. Uh, so technically very different. Uh, not necessarily as long, but uh, just as uh, physically demanding and life-threatening as well. I mean, bears, uh, the weather forecast can be extremely dangerous. Uh, we're also very isolated. Folks can't reach us as easily as on the East Coast. So uh, I think I'll be able to bring kind of my uh, knowledge on, uh, on that, type of, that type of stuff. Bear knowledge. Bear knowledge. So what we're going to be offering in our expedition is a gritty, uncensored, uh, fly on the wall style look into our day-to-day -day lives on the expedition. Uh, every uh, so often we'll be able to find some connectivity and post online on YouTube, Instagram, Facebook a few episodes of what Chris and I are going through. Uh, basically the inside passage is full of beautiful landscape and uh, that will be one of the main things that we want to share with you guys but truthfully the day-to-day -day lives the interaction is also going to be filmed 
and that's also something that we want to share with all of you. Eat well, have fun, not die.